Men are so jealous of women, especially beautiful women. And the root of all of that anger and all of that jealousy is the patriarchy, which is, guess what, set up by men. The reality is, is that men are expected to wake up early every single day and go to work and get a paycheck and pay for bills, not only for themselves, but for their wives, their girlfriends, any future kids they might have. They have to do hard manual labor or work their way up a corporate ladder. But women don't have to do that. And it makes y'all so upset that girls like me or other beautiful girls can capitalize off of our looks and make an amazing living. And I'm not saying at all that just because a girl is pretty, she doesn't have to work hard or she isn't a hard worker. If anything, you kind of have to work a little bit harder to get over the bias of being pretty. But there's no denying that there are so many life advantages to being attractive. This goes for men and women, but for whatever reason, it makes men so upset. The fact that I make the money that I do and I have the lifestyle that I have because of my looks and what I post on social media really upsets y'all. Because y'all wish y'all had it this easy and y'all don't, so you're angry. I get it. Yo, so we back in here for another edition of Your Mother and this is another young, dumb, uninformed, inexperienced person making a, like, I don't know what this, I don't know who's grown, I don't, who raising these kids, right? She, knows, she looks like she's about 23, 24. She's wrong on a whole bunch of fronts. Let me just narrow it down. Men of any heterosexual pedigree are not jealous of you in the least bit. Men don't mind getting up at the crack of dawn doing laborious work. That's not hard for us. Coming from somebody that's actually done a lot of manual laborious work. I've never complained about the work. I literally don't like people like you that are in the environment near proximity of where I've worked when I have to do laborious works. You're an idiot. You're not that intelligent. We can tell because you're making an assumption. And no, let me finish that complete thought. You're making an assumption because of I'm ex I'm, I'm going to assume of negative comments that you might get on social media by probably in sales. Then they're not necessarily mad at the fact that you got life easy, right? Because let's be realistic, you don't. And if you're about 22 to 25, those years, they're not really that long. You're going to have to do some real work when you hit the wall or when you get close to it. Because your beauty of whatever, she ain't even my speed. I don't really find her that attractive. She's pretty, but on a scale of 1 to 10, if I had to rate her, she's like a cool 7. But, yeah, that's going to run out. And we can tell by how you critically think about things. You're not saving money. So you won't have that money when you get 35. So all the money that you're amassing or lifestyle that you're, I mean, you might have, you might get a house out of it. And let's be frank here. You get money from tricks. No, Nobody's married you. <laughs> all, this is the foolishness that most women have is because they think because they get material possessions by men that sleep with them that they doing something okay they got you a little bit of money maybe bought you a car and a house I doubt you got any annuities I doubt you got any stocks and bonds put up I doubt you got any passive income coming in and if you do you're blowing the money as it's coming in it won't matter by the time you get 35 or 40 Men aren't jealous of you. The only niggas that's jealous of you is gay niggas. <laughs> Realistically here, let's just talk, let's keep it 100. The only men that are jealous of women that have an easy life that seem to have everything based off their beauty is gay men. Let me, one, because men don't lead with sexuality. Brad Pitt probably gets less dates than Angelina and Jolie. That's a fact. Good looking men and good looking women are not equal. A woman that's a knockout and a dude that's quote unquote a pretty boy, they're not comparative. Like, like, I just gave you two examples. Brad Pitt is deemed or was deemed among women back in the days as an attractive dude. He probably still booked less dates than Angelina Jolie did as a uh, attractive woman. And I'm being respectful because she ain't my taste either. But you see where I'm going here. Doesn't matter. Men, straight men don't care about that. They, they're, they're probably upset at the fact that like you're probably within their race class, right? You're probably a white woman. And these are probably white men that are, or Hispanic, it doesn't matter, that are probably perturbed at the fact that you probably sell sex to get your lifestyle. That's probably what bothers them, right? Because people of racial ethnicity groups, 
They want the best for their people. It's an innate thing. Chinese people want things good for Chinese people. White people want things good for other white people. Black people want things that are good for black people, if they're not haters. So to see a woman that does unsavory acts just to get, I guess, a couple dollars in the bank, yeah, that kind of like rubs them the wrong way because they see a person within their class of or ethnic group doing unsavory, unspeakable acts and yeah, that's a turnoff. And they probably feel like you could do better, but you don't. And then they find that despicable. Now, they should mind their own business. I'm not saying that like, they should mind their own business and not care what you do. They should. They should mind their own business. You should be able to do whatever you want. However, coming on the internet or TikTok and making videos like this, kind of rubbing it in people's face, doesn't help. I'm assuming if you did a video like this, rubbing it in men's face, deflecting from the issue at hand, and turning things around, being a narcissist that you probably are, you probably are going to have an exchange with people that are probably, they probably don't make as much sense as this video doesn't make. So I can see how that's frustrating. They're probably like listening to you and they're probably like, yo, that's not what I'm saying. The fact that you just twist however they feel about whatever it is that you do, they're jealous of you. You have a morbid, twisted sense of reality. Not only that, she said that like, it's patriarchy. No, ma'am, patriarchy is what keeps you safe. Patriarchy is what has kept civilizations, empires from getting sacked, bombed, and invaded. Not matriarchy. You can't point me to one matriarchal society that survived the last 300 years. Doesn't exist. Amazonians don't exist. Whatever civilizations or societies in parts of West Africa got crushed. The people were enslaved. You see where I'm going with this? Stop demonizing patriarchy. You read a book. That would help you out. In any event, if y'all like this episode, like, comment, and subscribe, turn the notifications on. And as always, tell a friend. And I'm out. No one's